Welcome back to Math Party, people. So the question reads here, which of the following is greatest in value? All right, so taking a look here, we have 2,000 minutes, four days, 30 hours, and 30, 36,000 seconds. Okay, so let's try to be strategic here because we're trying to pick the biggest value here, but we're not trying to pick the biggest number. Again, if we're just picking the biggest number, it's gonna be 36,000 seconds. We're not looking for the biggest number, we're looking for the biggest value. These are all in different units, so we're gonna have to turn these all into the same units to understand and be able to clearly see which one's actually bigger. So, what strategy do we wanna apply here? Do we wanna to try to turn everything into days? Do we wanna to try to turn it into hours, minutes, seconds? What's gonna be the best way for us? Well, for me at least, I'm gonna go ahead and say, let's try to turn everything into minutes. I, I think that turning everything into minutes is gonna be a little easier, and here's why. So, 2,000 minutes is already in minutes. If I wanted to turn that into hours, I'd have to divide by 60. But I'm not quite sure that it's gonna be clean in terms of div dividing by 60. If I wanted to turn days into minutes, just multiply by 24 to get hours, then times 60 to get minutes. So that's easy if we're just multiplying. 30 hours into minutes times 60 because an hour is 60 minutes. 36,000 seconds into minutes divide by 60. So there is the only time that we'll actually have to divide. And when we divide 36,000 by 60, that's actually pretty easy. So that's why I'm gonna to choose to turn everything into minutes to give myself the easiest time. Because if I wanted to turn everything into days, Divide, 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 divide. I don't want to divide. Hours, still got to divide, got to divide twice, multiply once. Minutes, multiply, 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 divide. Makes life easy. So 2,000 minutes is going to be 2,000 minutes. That's fine. We leave that as is. Four days. To turn days into minutes, here's what we do. I'll go ahead and mark this with orange. So four days days, we'll use the conversion factor, one day equals 24 hours. You gotta know this, you gotta memorize this. The other one, one hour equals 60 minutes. You have to know that as well. So four days to turn that into hours, we will first go ahead and do the conversion rate, one day, 24 hours. Then after that, we want to turn that because again what's going to happen is days are going to cancel out leaving us with hours but we want minutes here so we can compare so we'll continue by multiplying by the conversion rate uh, 60 minutes is one hour because what that allows us to do is cancel out the hours so once we have all of that set up booyah all we have to do is perform our multiplication and we're done four times 24 times 60. That's all we need to do. So from there, don't waste time, just get to it. You know what you have to do, get to it. 24 times four, what's that gonna give me? 24 times four, four times four is 16. Two times four is eight, carry the one, nine. So we have nine, D6 with these two together. Now we still have to multiply by 60. So 96 multiplied by 60. What's that gonna give me? A shortcut way to do this would be to just multiply by six, then tack the zero on at the end. But if you're not sure how to do that, don't worry. We'll just go ahead and get this done. Six times zero, zero. Nine times zero, zero. Oh, tack a zero on to the next line. Here we go. Six times six is 36. Nine times six, 54. Carry the three, 57. Boom, there we have it. The answer will be 5,760 minutes. So right there, four days is gonna be considered 5,760 minutes. Booyah. So with that said, my party people, I can already eliminate answer choice A because 2,000 minutes is not bigger than 5,760 minutes. It's not, so we're good. If you're struggling with the ASVAB, then it might be time to check out my ASVAB All Access program. It has all of my classes and the recordings, all the practice problems that you ever need, and you can text me whenever you need help.
but there's much more to it. But feel free to click the link right here in this video or in the description that tells you a lot more about the program. And there's a video explaining how it all works. If you have any questions, I'm Coach Anderson. Find my contact info and reach out to me if you have any. Let's get to it and let's taste the ASVAB. We can go ahead and eliminate A as we proceed. That way, if we run out of time, we can still take a valid guess and still move forward. So 30 hours now. How do we turn 30 hours into minutes? Remember, to go from 30 hours, and I use purple here, to go from 30 hours to minutes, what we'll do is we will multiply by 60 minutes divided by one hour. That's the conversion rate that we need to use, and it's exactly what we will do. 60 minutes over one hour, and what we have there, hours cancel out, 30 times 60, what's that gonna be? 30 times 60? is three times six, then the zeros from the 30 and 60, put them back in. Three times six is 18, bring those two zeros back, 1800 minutes. Now, here's the thing, before I even continue, know that you actually didn't even need to do 30 hours. You didn't, why? Because one day is 24 hours, two days will be 48 hours. 30 hours is not even two days. 30, 30 hours is not two days, so why would I even need to do the calculation there? This is where paying attention here, this is where taking a look at the info is really so important because you wouldn't have had to do this at all, at all. That would have been a waste of time because you know that four days is well more than 24 hours, it's more than 48, it's 96 hours. And so with that, bye, gone. And so either way though, we have that, so I'm gonna move this over here. That's 1800 minutes. Lastly, we've got 36,000 seconds. 36,000 seconds. So let's go ahead and see if this matches up. So lastly, again, we are taking care of business here. So we start off with 36,000 seconds to turn seconds into minutes. Remember that the conversion rate is gonna be one minute equals 60 seconds. So the conversion rate that I'll use here, one minute over 60 seconds. Notice how the number is now on the bottom because we need to cancel out seconds to get minutes. And so therefore we are dividing in this case, it'll be 36,000 divided by 60 and that'll be the number of minutes. So if we take a look here, well, the zeros will cancel. So we essentially have 3,600 divided by six, which will end up being 600. Because 36 divided by six is six, bring those zeros back right there. 600 minutes is what 36,000 seconds is. And given that it's not even bigger than 30 hours, and it's not even bigger than 2,000, and four days is 5,760 minutes? Answer is B, all day long. So I know that was a lot, but remember, using strategies and staying calm, cool, and collected while you apply them, way too important. So it's best to make a strategy before you start calculating. That way you're not flip-flopping back and forth between, okay, what do I do now? Okay, let's do it. What do I do now? Let's get to it. Instead, you can just take a nice clean look at it and say, hey, this is the goal, here's what I'll do, now let's get to it. So, I hope this helps. Let me know what you think, let me know if you have any questions, because I'm here to support you. I'll see you in the next one.